Hello and welcome back to Thuric Plays Blood Bowl 2. It's time for more skittering and running and ratty stuff or whatever. In other words, we are going to play with our Skaven today. I still have to decide on one level up. Calamity leveled up last match and rolled a double. Well, a double five to be exact. I am still going to ignore the characteristic because the double itself is more valuable. And in the end, I think I still have to take guard. Uh, you can argue against it. And I know the argument, but in the end, uh, I still like guard here. The lineman will die sooner or later. We are in a team value range where a dodge might be helpful, but also could not do anything. And so I'm going to go with the uh, choice of guard, basically. And, well, let's put it that way. I assumed that Wreck would have been long dead by now. He still is around, so maybe Calamity can do the same. We'll see. So let's try to find an opponent. <gasps> and that does put our team value up. Um... Yep, everything is fine basically, so let's try to find an opponent and we'll have to wait a little bit over a minute, about a minute and a half. So we'll be back uh, once we get assigned one, so see you in a moment. We might have a slight problem. <laughs> oh boy, am I looking forward to this and a free bribe. So he's got the stadium upgrade for the free bribe, basically. And, well, let's wait until it's our turn before I see the wreck that this team will be. Or maybe not. Let's use our time efficiently here. Assuming the game will load in here. Maybe. Blood Bowl, please. Thank you. Doesn't really work, apparently. Oh, come on. What's going on? So this is not supposed to happen. Did I upset the game because I got, went into the team and then out and then in again? Apparently the game is pouting. Okay, so I'm out of stupid things to say here right now and I'm still confused as to why this is still loading. This should not be happening. And if that keeps going, I'm going to be a little bit annoyed. Just because... At some point, it will be our turn to spend some inducements here, and that is, there it is, finally. Okay, internal server error. And now I have 60 seconds left, and we won't be able to take a look at the team. So, let us do the smart stuff. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. And now I have 46 seconds left. Let's take a look real quick here. So how many rerolls does he have? Seven rerolls. Oh, hello. So this team is a little bit bloated. So I'm a little less scared. And I'm going to check out his team in just a moment. Uh, the free bribe is still a problem. We have 300,000 in cash still. Uh, so I'm going to buy another apothecary because you can never have enough of those and today I'm playing for keeping my team alive and then we have those or maybe I'm going to pull one out wait I need to hurry up here I really need to hurry up yeah that was a little bit of our own money and I don't know if you will help us, but having another player could be good, and it's a gutter runner, but with strength 3. <coughs> Excuse me, so that internal server error um, cost me a little bit of thinking time here. And I couldn't really go through the star players as much as I wanted to. I got a little bit hectic there. <laughs> I apologize for that. So, yeah, also this is not necessarily a good thing. Um... I also spent a little bit of my own money there to get this guy, which was not my intention. Uh, but it's fine. So he's going to choose to receive. At least he should choose to receive. If he is uh, thinking clearly. <laughs> Let's say like that. Yes, we get to set up our players. So 
Uh, we have three reserve players right now, so who are we going to keep off the pitch? I think in this case I am for once putting Hysteria off the pitch because we need him for future shenanigans. And aside from that I'm going all out with my team, although it will probably cost me maybe a few linemen. We'll see. Um, yeah, so we have three linemen, two with guard, which will basically... Well, probably do not that much, because he has strength 4 and he has a minotaur. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> I'm really not a fan of this matchup right now, but there's also not much we can do about it. And I'm having a little bit of a scratchy throat today. I have no idea why, to be honest. <clears throat> and I apologize for that. I don't know where that's coming from. Okay, so let's set up differently because it's they're not that fast. I also can check for... Ah, <coughs> oh, sorry. I can check for... Frenzy players right now because I need to set up. So let's use the time I have remaining to check here. So he's got an agility 4, block, tackle, claw. His minotaur does have agility 3, a niggling injury. Um, what else? What is... Juggernaut? No, break, tackle. Okay, interesting. Not bad, nothing. Block, strength 4, mighty blow. Not good. Block, strength 5, or really... Um... Piling on, okay. Block dodge. Block our V9 claw. Block mighty blow. Uh, block armor value 7 and prehensile tail. Also, two reserve players, both with armor value. Oh, what? That wasn't supposed to happen. He finished a little bit faster there than I assumed. <laughs> So let the slaughter commence. Well, my track record against Chaos actually isn't too bad, um, I think. So I still think we have a chance here. He's got some good stuff going for him. He's also got a little bit of weird stuff going for him. His setup is definitely weird. Um, he did not defend at all against the Blitz opportunity, and then I maybe could have stolen the ball away from him. That's a big maybe. <coughs> oh, come on, really, what's going on? Oh, that is good. Oh, he's going for it really hard. Yep, he's got a lot of rerolls. Is he going to pile on? He shouldn't. He's not, okay. Uh, but we're already down a player. And that was uh, Calamity, who just um, just got his guard, so that helped. And there's a K, uh, stun, okay. The problem is he does have an agility 4 player, so picking up the ball will be a 2 plus roll for him. He's also got a really big amount of rerolls. And I don't know, did I play against this guy before? I do remember a Chaos team that looked a little bit like this. Um, okay, just a stun. Uh, with a high amount of rerolls and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, he's really piling on, and in this case it does make sense. Doesn't change anything, and I am actually pretty happy about that. Assuming he doesn't protect him very well, because I am going to step on him. And I'm going to step on the Minotaur hard. He did buy the inducement, um, the, the stadium upgrade for the free bribe, so I am going to use that. Even if I only get one assist, I'm going to step on him. That needs to happen. Aside from that, he's going very big on the body blocks here. So this is going to be fun. So is this a strength 5 guy? No strength 4. Let's see here. You just stand up, please. Okay, so how can I annoy him? 
Uh-huh. This guy does not have tackle. He does not have frenzy, which is the important bit here right now. So can I reach him? Not like this. Not like that. Okay, so this is obviously not my favorite thing to happen. So what does he actually have? Extra arms, two heads. So he's good at dodging. He's got prehensile tail, which is probably not too meaningful for us today. But I really don't know. I also have a very juicy wizard target already right here with four players. But it would be pretty straightforward to go for that already. I could also, you know what, let's have some fun. Why not? Goodbye. Literally, that guy is injured. Hello. I like this scenario. He's using his apothecary though, so he will come back. But still, the ball is free and I am going to pick it up if at all possible. Oh crap, I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. I stood this guy up before I did anything. Before I used the wizard, and so it ended my turn. <laughs> oh, I got so caught up. I got so caught up in thinking about what we could do here that I used him when I shouldn't have. That was pretty dumb. Ah, uh, yeah, this is not a good start. Obviously. <laughs> oh, God. And for everyone that was screaming at the monitor for me to not do anything here, I apologize. Oh, he used a roll, a loner reroll there. He's going really heavy on the rerolls. Uh, so... Even though he, his team value is really bloated, this is going to be... Well, considering my epic mistake, this is going to be horrible. Um, but, well, I wouldn't say we are without a chance, but it is definitely not going to be easy. Uh, because I basically wasted a turn here. And yes, I am going to wrestle you down. <coughs> and I'm also still going to foul the Minotaur. Um, so let's try to get rid of him so he's not going to move forward very much this turn oh is he actually giving me a f nope he's moving that guy back okay I assumed as much uh, which is actually good for me because it will give me more chances of hurting his or a better chance of hurting the the minotaur so we'll see what comes of that but who do I want to foul with? Probably Panic, I think. All things considering. Uh, but I should at least try to block first this time around. Preferably with a... Um, preferably with... Come on, let me finish that sentence. With a Storm Vermin, considering we only have Retiation available for to us right now because the other guy is uh, stunned. That's pretty self-explanatory, and I'm going to focus on a Beastman because he's got a lower ammo value. And so it's easier for us to actually uh, hurt him and get him off the pitch. Pretty basic stuff, I'd say. Uh, no injury, though, unfortunately. So I don't really want to be near the strength 5 guy, um, if I can avoid it. So you are just going over here. And let's pull the star player up as well. He still needs to dodge, but I would like to do the foul first. I shouldn't move first though, so at least to here. And let's just see how this works. If he's willing enough to give me that foul, or the bribe, I am going to use it. And that's an injury. 
And he already used his Apothecary, so the Minotaur is out. And I did not even use up my Bribe here. Okay. So I'm happy about that scenario. <laughs> and I am going to... I think that's our main chance here right now against him, is to knock a player down and foul him relentlessly, if possible. We need to get rid of his killers and any chance of him knocking us down, so he's going to take yet another reroll here. Um, instead of using a tackle player, which is what he should do against uh, Cackle. Not that I'm complaining, but that is what is what he should do. And he also can't make that much forward progress. Well, he will probably end up around here somewhere, but I could go around. And let's just see who I get to knock down next and foul. <laughs> Maybe we'll take the strength 5 guy here. Um, I wouldn't mind a beastman because they're easier to injure. At least the armor value 8 ones are. Or the armor value 7 one. But I think that one is over here. Yep. So we're not going to get him. Oh, he's... That wasn't a good move, my friend. I think. Or was it? We'll see. I. It depends. Can he put a defense up there? still because we do have gutter runners that can run up there and get a two die splits i could do that with the star player so you should put a guy here but he can't because that would mean dodging by this guy here would also work but not back there that's not good enough so i think i'm going to get a two dice here if i play my cards right Uh, might also mean that I won't get to foul, but I can live with that scenario if I get my will here, basically. Okay, so how do we do this best? Uh, he does not have any sort of guard, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is going to keep my players occupied, unfortunately, but there's not much we can do about that. So let's knock him away. He's got dodge though, so he's not going down, but who cares? All I want is the gutter runner free. And oh, that's going for it, so I should do the other moves first. And I am going to blitz with panic because panic has wrestle. And that means all I need is a both down result. And uh, so that's what we're aiming for. At least. I'm also blocking his way pretty much. Well, this is wide open and if we fail, he will uh, just go over here. But I do have to try. Yeah, and I'm going to reroll that. That is not acceptable. That is better. So let's wrestle him down. And the ball actually goes... Oh, come on. Yes, the ball goes where I need it to go, next to Cackle. So that is awesome. And I'm going to run like the wind in this direction. And then we'll do something I like to do in this case, because he can reach me here. Maybe not that easy, but he can reach me. So I am going to throw the ball all the way up there, and we do have agility 6, so this is still a 2 plus roll. And so the ball is all the way back there, where he can't reach it that easily. And I can run up next turn with Cackle again and try to pick it up again. It will at least force him to orient himself backwards instead of um, just blocking me here and then going for it. He might not have been able to reach us that easily, but he could have gotten there. He, he would have gotten a blitz, and I wanted to prevent him from actually knocking the ball free again, so... I'd rather have it in his backfield than over here, basically. Uh, yeah, we won't use... Oh, I have three apothecaries. I'm stupid. I'm not used to buying apothecaries. So I should have kept him on the pitch. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I won't regret this, considering he can hurt me pretty bad. So this is not a big hindrance. It will force us to do one additional roll. Uh, a dodge roll, but we've got agility 6, so I can still pick up the ball on the 2 plus here. Ah. Uh. 
We'll see. So he needs to go back. He can hit me pretty badly. Uh, still. But I don't know. So far he hasn't even fouled and he does have that free bribe. Oh, that is perfect. That's another reroll gone. So far he's been going through his rerolls very fast. We'll have to wait and see if that continues. Still he has seven rerolls, so even if he uses up a reroll every turn. Um there's still he the only turn he wouldn't have a reroll would be turn eight. Uh so I'm not really counting on a turn over here. Except if he fails two times over here and serve me. Let's see if he does that. Um, he should just... well, now he's going to knock me down since he can't uh, push me. Okay. But still, this is not bad so far. He hasn't blitzed yet, so that's what we have to keep in mind. He should probably blitz Radiation or a Gutter Runner. Both are valid choices in this scenario. And he's probably going for laughter here, I assume. Or the star player? No, he's not blitzing at all. So that was a mistake on his part. Yep. Okay, so considering I wasted a turn, this is looking better than I first assumed it would do it would basically. And let's move you over this way. So this is his strength 4 player. Oh, I should have put you there. It's too late now. Um, I need to move players over there to try and take care of that. And now before I do anything here, I don't like this scenario. This is really dangerous for the gutter runners involved. He's not standing up because he will get served. But... I could roll a double one here, so I'm going to go for the pickup first. And there's nothing else to it, so this is three two-plus rolls. Oh, we already used up our dodge. And now I'm going to dodge out again to force him to blitz us. Oh, that's another one. I'm going for it this time, I think. Yep, so let's re-roll that. I don't want that to be a one. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, this time I'm not going to throw the ball because he's the only guy back there that can do a bunch of stuff. And so let's just try to uh, make the best of that situa situation. Let's also dodge you out of here. Thank you very much. Uh, next up is Panic. Okay, also good. Then we've got Hackflum. Hackflum Scuttle Spike. Uh, yeah, let's just make that effective. And now I'm going to stop with the dodges because we are out of the dodge reroll. Okay, so I would love to dodge here to get an assist and do this one dice block, but I really can't afford to, so I'm going to leave it as it is. And even leave Chuck here, because failing this might lead to him being injured or stuff, something like this. Um, so we can't really afford to do that. But this guy is still the only one that can reach us, and he doesn't have tackle. So let's see what he does with this. And this is turning around on uh, right now. He did not protect his ball carrier uh, enough. He went too much... If he had only put him two spaces back, I wouldn't have been able to reach him. And he should not blitz like this. That's going for it already. And that does not help him, so he needs to take a reroll again. Still not helpful. So I'm keeping the ball this time. And all I need to do now is not roll a one. <laughs> Sounds simple, doesn't it? Let's see if I can make it work. So this positioning was pretty good on his part. He's got the uh, prehensile tail on both the gutter runners. So I won't dodge here with them. Yep, he's knocking down radiation. 
Let's see, is he getting through the armor? He is not. Uh, so I probably won't do much here now. Uh, we'll see. I might try to knock down the Chaos Warrior. And I might try to press my luck. We'll see. I do have a plan here, or an idea at least. It's just a matter of, am I? can I pull it off? And is it worth the risk? I'll have to... Oh, now he's fouling, so he. I will definitely... Uh, score, that is for sure. That should go through the armor. In all likelihood, yes. And he stunned and he used up his bribe. So that is awesome. Uh, so his first foul might have been his last. Uh, assuming he doesn't want to risk another uh, risk losing a player here. So my idea was blitzing down the strength 5 guy. But now, the way he's set up, that will force me to do mm, some dodges. And then foul him, basically. So, let's push our luck. This is something that is risky to do, but I like the risk involved. Uh, and if it works, it is a could be a big benefit. So here's the blitz which is a two dice now. We do get the knockdown, which means following. And now I am going to step on him. From right there, with three assists, makes it a better roll. Let's see if it works. It does not, but it also had no effect whatsoever. So let's just dodge and do the touchdown. Okay. Thank you very much. I couldn't really stall this out much longer. Uh, he would have gotten another blitz on me and we're only one defender down away from getting injured there. If uh, in the worst case scenario. Oh well, it's still fine. So our KO comes back, which is good. We do have enough reserve players still. Uh, so, Hysteria is staying out, um, or is continuing to stay out. And here's Blindness. So, we are going to switch Blindness with Wreck, yes. Uh, so that we can maybe make use of his guard a little bit better. Aside from that, we'll keep the setup as it is. And... Wait, what? Hysteria. Oh yeah, Cackles over here. So, that was not bad. I think that went pretty well. And aside from this, let's keep everything as it is, basically. We still have one reroll left. He has two. And we are going to kick in the middle this time around. Oh, come on. <laughs> so he con will continue to foul, uh, but I have two bribes now, so I can continue fouling. Let's just see if I get the chance, because we might not. And he's going really heavy on the rerolls. He's basically taking it as soon as he doesn't get a good block. And he's even piling on here, uh, which is a greedy move, considering he didn't get through my armor. So this might be our determined foul target, maybe. Depends on whether or not he's following up here. Which he would probably do. Yep, looks like he did. Okay. Hmm. I don't know yet. This is still too early. Here he can't follow up, but he's getting through the armor again. And Disaster is injured. What does he get? And we do have three rerolls, so here I am going to take an Apothecary and just put him in the box. I'm willing to use one or maybe even two Apothecaries this, uh, like this this time around. And not on alignment with, uh, with one skill or zero skills. I'm just doing this because he's a good one, basically. So it's worth the Apothecary, in my opinion, right now to get him back. Okay, 
so I probably won't be able to break his cage. So our main goal now will be to prevent him from scoring this half. Uh, not impossible, also probably not easy, but we'll see. Considering he's gotten three, uh, oh come on, uh, th four blocks and three armor breaks this turn, and he got rid of two of my players. This is a bad setup for us to to prevent the touchdown. So yeah, not really good. Okay, so what I could do, which would be aggressive and probably not really worth it, is try to get a dodge in here into three tackle zones with um, panic and try to get a push or a both down result. Um, I could also try to knock him down. Okay, so let's think this through. No, not like that, like so. So this hopefully will give us a knockdown. It does not, so that does change my plans here pretty drastically, unfortunately. Um... So what can we do? I could try to hit another beastman again. Oh, this guy is German. That is a German name. Even though it looks weird. Yep. Yep, this guy is German. <laughs> Takes one to know one. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. So I could block here and push him and then do a foul. Uh, the problem with that scenario is that it would mean giving up the touchdown and I am not willing to do that yet. So instead I am going to do something like this. Blitz this guy. He should be pretty easy to knock down. Yes, there it is. Let's push him there and stay. Move up like so. And I'm still leaving him a lot of room to work with here, to be to be sure. Uh, but there's not too much I can do about that, unfortunately. And I'm still going to foul. Like so. We do have two bribes. It's a it's a beastman without a skill, so it's so so on the risk reward scala. But if I can get rid of him, I would like for him to not have any reserve players left because at some point the fouling will start to hurt him more. And if we can keep the playing field almost even uh, with fouls, I'm more than willing to try that. We'll see. And that is really good, so he's going to reroll that. And that is perfect. Yeah, he's still going to create the opening here, most likely. So a failed roll from him, like a double skull or something like this. That works as well, at least somewhat. Would be pretty cool, so he's going to go this way. He does have a free spot to go here. The thing is, he needs to move a total of 14 spaces to make the touchdown. This guy has a movement allowance of 6, so he needs to do two going for it, and he needs to go in a straight line. So this might still fail, and he is out of a reroll now, so failed going for it will really hurt him. And that should prevent the... the okay, what is he doing? What is he doing? He is in the process of throwing away his touchdown. That's what he's doing. And I don't understand it. Yeah, he needs to do the going for it. So he can still make it. Three, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. 
so with another going for it, he can do that next turn. But this guy is completely exposed. And where is he? Okay, Panic is over here. The problem is I can't really dodge Panic. Well, on a 3+, plus, which could be okay, all things considering. But I think I'm going to use Chuck to Blitz here. We have uh, Hackflum uh, that can move freely without uh, being hindered because he's the only one not in contact. And then I can actually Blitz here and get a two dice. So he screwed that up himself a little bit. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, please don't end like this now. Okay, this is better. So that ends if officially ends his touchdown chance. And the ball goes somewhere where I might actually be able to make something of it. So I can, in theory, still score here. So let's try that. Okay, we do have Cackle, which means if I pick up the ball, I go up to here. The problem is he's in two tackle zones, so this is a bit of a bummer. Uh, this is a good block. A push is good enough. So he's freed up. I can't blitz anymore. But I can foul if I so desire. But... You know what? Okay, let's try this. Uh, you go there. We need to put him in the end zone first uh, because our chances of of, w of that working are better. Wait. Yeah, I need to move like this. And when am I in range? That's the problem. Let's see. Okay, like this first. So I can't throw yet. I still can throw, if I'm not mistaken. I actually can. But we are in a tackle zone, so I'm going to take the risk and do this. Okay, thank you very much. And now we have our 3 plus long bomb with an. So a 3 plus and a 2 plus, basically, to get another touchdown. Does it work? It indeed does. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Holy crap. Whew. So this was pretty good, I'd say. And he is taking it uh, rather well, I'd say, so I'm happy about that. He's not looking like he's going to give up, and he is okay with it, apparently. Okay, let's just... It's still the first half, and even though I'm going to give up my last turn here, I am doing so without uh, a problem. Let's just pull everybody back. That doesn't need to get hit, if I can avoid it. And over this way, well, let's set them up correctly. I doubt that he will be able to do a one-turn touchdown, but I should still keep the habit of setting up like this. And then we do have him here, which we will switch out. So like this. Okay, I am once again in love with Cackle. That Agility 6 is pretty amazing. Oh, Pitch Invade. That does nothing at this turn. Because it gives him less players to hit us with. <clears throat> and I do get a turn 8. So, considering he does have stun players, I will try to foul, even though it will probably without an assist. It's still worth the shot. It, uh, and considering these are all linemen, and if one of them gets sent off, it 
it just happens, I don't really care. We do still have one reserve player at least, at least right now, and one KO that might come back, so let's not forget about him. And that stays a push, so he's going to blitz him. Sorry about that. <laughs> But apparently my throat has finally cleared up, so I don't have the scratchy feeling anymore. And I can talk again without feeling the need to cough every two seconds. So is he still going to foul me? He might do that with his beastman. Not with this one. Okay, interesting. And I am going to just step on this guy. Oh, yes he is, but he should have used another beastman, shouldn't he? This guy has skills. The other one that he moved d doesn't. Okay, just a stun, so this is not too bad. And, yep, that should lead to a throw in the end here, to one of these beastmen. Okay, or so. That works as well. The extra arms made the catch easier, but the throw was farther, I think, so actually not as easy. And we do have a little bit of range on him here. Okay, yeah, so he's stunned, so we can't get there with him, unfortunately, but... Let's still try to make this work. So he needs to go there to get rid of an assist. Over this way. Oh, yeah, I screwed up the order here a little bit. Unfortunately, but it should still be okay, I think. I should have blocked with, with laughter, or blitz with laughter, not with hysteria, because laughter does have block, hysteria doesn't. But it's still okay, I guess. Well, not really. With this result, a knockdown would have been better, but the other gutter runner wouldn't have changed that, so in the end it doesn't really matter. And let's just uh, step on this guy. Anything? Nothing, okay. Well, it wasn't 11 plus, so I really small chance uh, one in six I think okay but it's half time we are in the lead with two touchdowns and we do receive the ball now and the knocked out player comes back so we have more reserve players also another guard player back so that's good and let's just see how the second half goes. I don't really mind scoring as fast as possible right now. I think a three touchdown lead should be enough to to secure us the win. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, so this works how? Let's see. Okay, first off, I need my throwers back here. May yeah, I was thinking there is one missing. Where is the gutter run? There's the lineman. Okay. Let's switch. Keep these two off the pitch. Then we've got guard here. We've got him there. We've got more guard over this way. Uh, yeah, let's use these to him to block. him. So I should probably switch these two because he's got dodge and he's got tackle. Uh -huh. And who would I like to get the touchdown with? Probably panic, but I don't know if that's possible. At least not easily, I'd say, right now. We'll see. 
Okay, put you there, and him there. So I can't go for a one-turn touchdown, but I really don't mind. Uh, all we need to do is run all the gutter runners through and then pass in the next turn. And yeah, let's just confirm the setup like this. Uh, Carl one back. And he's leaving us a lot of room to maneuver. Uh, Kickoff return. Oh yeah, we are confirming the ball is landing right on us. He gets another reroll. Not surprising. Okay, fumbled the pickup. That is not a problem. And let's just run the gutter runners through at least two for now. And then we'll start blocking. Uh, and we will start with this Chaos Warrior. Uh, just to push, okay. Uh, so this is now the better option, I think. And I am inclined to step on him, so I'm going to follow. The problem here is he's got armor value 9, so it's not necessarily a good chance we'll see I I don't I don't know uh, the question also remains who do I want to blitz uh, because we don't really have a good target here for blitzing right now so can I reach him? Yes, I can. So let's try that. Why not? That's at least a good blitz target. Oh, it's also the strength 4 guy, so I messed that up. Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> okay, I'm full of smart decisions today. Uh, I'm still going to do it, but now I'm going to foul first. Okay, let's put Cackle over this way for now, and not really go over there, because we might need him back here in just a moment. Maybe. Okay, so let's go for the Foul with Calamity. Maybe we can do that. Yes, it's through the armor, and it's just a stun. And I'm also not a smart person once again, because now this will stay two dice again, so this is was a horrible decision to make. Well, we'll see. Let's do the pickup. And he can't reach me, so I am just going to stay right here, basically. Uh, yeah, let's go back one further. Because I did block myself in here now. So we're still going to do the stupid stuff and do the one dice with two going for it because I set myself up for it. And uh, I'm still going to try. This is something you shouldn't do, but I am doing it because uh, I want to save my gacha runner here. Uh, Hysteria is not somebody I want to have standing next to a mighty blow beastman. He's probably still going to go for him. So I screwed that up. That wasn't a smart play and I should have known better. And I also, now that I think of it, I should have put Kekel right here somewhere around because then he could have scored if all things uh, went south. We'll see. We do still have Four players in scoring range right now. And we'll see if he's able to get rid of all of them. Yeah, so this is not a... Or is that his tackle guy? It is. It's also not a good roll, so he needs to re-roll that. And that gives him the result he wants. Okay. Uh, it's not really... Yeah, let's go there. Okay, through the armor, so that takes care of things. He won't score next turn. And talking about the scratching in my throat, it's back. <laughs> so I'm going to have to clear my throat real quick here. Sorry about that. 
Okay, that's better. So, what are our options? Because I did misplay this um, turn pretty heavily, I think. So, my best plan right now is to get rid of this guy. And then get the ball to Hysteria, basically. The problem is... Uh, that will need two assists, which is possible, but does involve some commitment here. So it's not the easy play in the least. We could also just go for him. Uh, but that also is a bit of a problem right now. So let's check this. Uh, two assists, so this is two assists because he has guard. And a double skull is pretty horrible. That's the second double skull I've rolled. Um, yeah, let's put him there and follow in this case because I want to keep this space open. And... Yeah, we're already at the point where I have to just go for it and try. But I am once again going to foul first. Because, why not? This is a weird game, and I'm maybe taking things not as seriously as I maybe should. But it's it's good for, for my, my enjoyment of the game from time to time to have a game like this. Where I go in with the worst expectation, and then it turns out to be actually okay. Um... So the problem is this extra arms guy. Because he gets a plus one to intercept. And to avoid him... I would need to go over here, I think. But I'm already out of reroll. So I don't really want that. And it wouldn't make my throw any better. So I'm just going to try regardless. And just see if he makes that. It's still a 5 plus or a 6 plus, I think. Okay, we've got the ball. So now all I need to do is dodge away and score, basically. So doesn't well like so. I don't need to take a re uh, going for it. Okay, failed the first dodge, but that's what the reroll is for. And there's the third touchdown. And now I have to play defense again, which apparently I'm better at today. Uh, all things considering. I'm really happy that we managed to get rid of the Minotaur. That was a really big plus here in this match. Okay, let's do this to get everybody forward. Oh wow, that looks weird. Okay, so who told him that would be a good defense? Where is the... There he is. Okay, switch these two. And we're also... Here is Hysteria, so let's switch Blindness with him, because I don't want him to get hurt, for obvious reasons. And then we've got our Blindman on here. Uh, like this, and over there. The setup really doesn't change, it keeps with the program, basically. And yeah, that's already it. Let's confirm and see what he does. Okay, he's just keeping the setup. And yet another bribe. So I have three now, which I'm not able to spend. Because I don't get caught, I won't get caught. I won't complain here. The kickoff is events could be a lot worse. Uh, all things considering, like a pitch invasion or a throw a rock, um, anything that could hurt us basically. The bribe can hurt us as well, of course, because he can foul us. And he's also still greedy and doing piling ons when he's not through the armor, which he shouldn't do. 
but that's we'll see. So so far I am regretting that I didn't use my first apothecary right here to keep our other stormbomb on the pitch. Okay, calamity. What does he get? Ah, uh, loses one point in strength. So since I do still have one left, I am going to take the apothecary here. But the last one I will save for more, uh, for better players. And I know I did say that I didn't want to use apothecaries on linemen with only one skill, and I am already regretting it. Uh, and I did, only did so because he has guards, so that's the danger of taking a skill like this, because you want to keep the player alive. And I should have just accepted his death, but it's also, we do still have two rerolls, and I'm just counting on the fact that he won't hurt us too much anymore. Which might be wrong, I don't know, we'll find out very soon, I assume. <laughs> Oh, that is... Okay, he's going to use more players here. And he's going more for a body block strategy than a ball defending strategy, which is dangerous against Skaven, as we've all seen today already. Uh, he didn't protect the ball well enough, and I can dodge away very well, and he can't protect himself against this. So, we'll see what happens here now. He still needs to pick up the ball, which is not that unlikely, but he is out of reroll. He still does it, though. Okay, so this is probably... Well, not probably. Definitely a pretty big problem. So how far can he get? Not far enough, unfortunately. So that's his strength 4 guy. So let's not engage there. Um, put him over this way. And I'm thinking right now on what I want to do. Well, I do know what I want to do. The question is, can I get there? The answer to that is maybe with a little bit of luck. Let's find out. Okay, so you go here. Then we'll blitz. Ah, that is not good enough. Push him back. Stay. So this should be a one dice now, yes, okay. That is better. We do have tackle, so he is going down. Oh, nice, an armor break. And the KO, that is really, really good. Oh, yeah, now I have two choices. Put Hackflum on here. Or, well, no, this won't work because we can't get enough assists, so I am going to put Hackflum on him, even though he will probably just get blitzed away, but that's a risk I need to take here, and we're also going to try and dodge over this way. Okay, that failed, and I'm not going to reroll that because we still have too many turns left. Okay, chuck a stunt. Could be worse. As long as it's no injury or KO, he's still on the pitch, so he can do something in the future. And he did spread himself pretty thin, so he's probably going to switch sides again, because he can't batter him his way through here. Oh no, you okay? That I don't want to see something like that. He should blitz differently, and he also shouldn't blitz like this. Because if he only pushes me, I, I he can only keep me next to his ball carrier, and that's what just happened. He should have blitzed from up here. Yeah, from up here, that was his only choice, and push us down there in that case. And now Hackflam is actually really useful because he's got Prehensile Tail. So that is a, the dodge is harder for him. He might just block us. That's at least what I would do in this scenario. 
Uh, I wouldn't try to dodge here. It's his agility 4 player, so even with the prehensile tail, it's still a 3+, plus, which is not bad. But he also... he should just block him. Because of that. He had already used up a reroll, so that was very, very risky. So I'm pretty happy about that result, obviously. And let's just try to make this day perfect. How do we do that best? Well, first things first, we do this block. A push is not what I was hoping for, but it is good enough. Because it does create the opening that I need. Next we can blitz this guy. To make the opening complete. And yet another push. Which is once again good enough. We don't need to win with... Uh, with bashing, we have agility on our side, so... who? What do we do here? So I should do this with, ca with Cackle, because he's the only one that is not in contact with anybody, so let's do that. Panic would be my preferred choice here, because I would like for him to level up. Uh, maybe we can do a handoff to him next turn. We'll see. So let's try to knock him down. Uh, yeah, not happening. So we're just pushing him closer, but that is not a big deal right now. And how far can he go? Wait, let's do the dodge first. And he can make it to here, and I can then step on this guy. It's once again without an assist, but we do have three bribes, and so why not? I mean... We can take the chance. So that's a stun, which is pretty awesome. That is not his tackle guy. Which means I'm going to take the more risky route, which I'm already... Which might have been a mistake. Okay, let's see if I can continue this course. And put him right there. Okay, perfect. And he's going to die. Oh, yeah, I should not have done that with his agility, too, in uh, all honesty. Uh, I acted there before thinking it through, which is something you shouldn't do. Take your time. I did have the time, so that wasn't the, the best move to make. And I do have really have a distant memory that I did play this guy before, and with the same team, if I'm not mistaken. So if anybody can confirm that for me, that would be... Cool. <laughs> I don't know how the first match ended, but I think I played against him before. But all things considering, I I did make some really bad moves here today. And I'm, I'm happy that we're still winning, and in all honesty, we probably shouldn't. Um... I'm, I, I won't complain about it, obviously, but uh, we, we we had some luck here with, with some stuff, so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty... We can be happy that, that we, we, we got it as far as we, we, we are right now, basically. Uh, oh, wow. I assumed that was a misclick, but it worked, so it's, it's okay. Okay, so how can we play this now? Okay, who he's got all these beastmen left that he should move. And he should have moved them first. Um to get a little back to the educational approach that I like usually. Um, he did a whole bunch of stuff here, like blitzing and so on, without moving his players back first to make sure he can use them in the next turn. 
if he fails now or even if he succeeds, he wouldn't have been able to really pick up the ball reliably. Uh, so he should have moved the players first. Yeah, if he wants to keep him down, I don't really mind. He's going to foul him. And that is Chuck, if I'm not mistaken, not Carl. Uh, yes, he's injured. He also doesn't have a lot of SPP, so we're not using the Apothecary there. On a badly hurt, on top of everything. Okay, so I do have plans here. Let's try to get a block first. I'm just going to assume that we don't roll double skulls here, but it's also not something I'm willing to re-roll uh, for obvious reasons. I'd say, okay, so this is his strength four player, so we can get another block here, like so. Better, definitely better. Put him there and stay. And now I'm going to try to get the ball to panic, basically, uh, with a handoff. And it is a touchdown. Okay, perfect. Oh. So that is pretty good. His Chaos Warrior comes back, unfortunately. But this could look a lot worse, as we all know. And a thanks once again. Okay, I would still like Hysteria to stay off the pitch to protect him. Um, he's just too valuable. I, I don't want to, to risk him. Basically. And I should put the guard player in the middle at least. And that is it once again. So he's up to 12, which means two more touchdowns, or an MVP, or a pass and a touchdown, something along those lines, basically. Well, four SPP, two injuries, which is the le less, the le least likely uh, combination, I think. And both teams lose a turn. Uh, doesn't really influence us anymore, I think. Uh, aside that now I don't have... Um, more turns than rerolls to play, so I can use a reroll next turn without feeling bad about it, because we don't really need to save one. And we'll see. Okay, that's the knockdown, that's his piling on guy. Is he going to get rid of Calamity once and for all? So far it doesn't look like it, but he's going to pile on again. That dust cloud looks a little bit big, but he is actually getting rid of him, and this time around he is toast. I'm, I can't afford to use the last apothecary on him. I'll have to save that for, for Gutter Runner, so he got guard and he lost guard. <sighs> and now we can argue that maybe dodge would have been better. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. It's a lineman. He's meant to die. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. And I might regret not um, not using the Apothecary there if he doesn't manage to injure a Gutter Runner, but why risk it? I'd rather lose a lineman and not need the Apothecary than lose Cackle, for example, because that could still happen. And... Kackle has, once again, this turn proven how much he can do and how valuable he is to the team. And to me, basically. Okay. 
That's a pass, so... What can we do? Oh, really? I might get another two dice block against this ball carrier here. Maybe. Get an assist to here, and then blitz from down there. With Hankflam, probably. Uh, because he's got a high movement range and can make that without a going for it. And he has strength 3, so he actually has a decent chance there. The problem is, I would like to not get the assist with Cackle, but he's our best choice for this. But if we get the knockdown and maybe get the ball to over here somewhere, Cackle could jump or just dodge his way through and over there. And I'm um, all for that. Uh, so let's see if we can maybe get the assist differently. So this guy does not have dodge, which means if I go like this, we can get the assist. So that is going to happen here. Let's do this block first, though. Put you over there because the ball is here. So having him on this side is better than the other side. So it puts him a little bit closer to the middle. Let's push you back and stay, of course. I'm not going to follow that one. This is also already a two dice. Uh, but let's not take it yet. I could also get an assist here. Knock him down and then do this. But I think we should just go for it right now. I like our odds better that way. Oh, that was a double one. So that makes... Uh, that not possible. It happens. It comes at a situation where it doesn't really matter too much anymore. Well, we're going to get hit more than I would like, and it would have been nice to get to knock the ball free here, but it's it's fine, I think. He still needs to move twelve spaces in a matter of two turns, so his entire movement r range basically with this guy to score. And we're still going to win. And I can live with KOs now, to be honest. KOs and badly hurts just means that the player is safe and won't get killed. Okay, let's see this. Uh, that is going to get a knockdown once again. A stun is also fine. Well, he might foul him, and that might lead to a disaster. Well, not a disaster, but an injury. Uh, but as long as he doesn't take down the Storm Vermins and the Gutter Runners, I can definitely live with it. And he already blitzed, so he won't be able to go after the Gutter Runners. He's also doing going for it before moving this guy, which is not what he should be doing. Because he already used up a reroll here. If I'm not mistaken. Or am I? I'm not sure. I think he did do that. Okay, that was good. He's probably going to follow. Yep, there it is. No reason not to for him. Pretty much. For And getting his beastman here on Cackle does nothing. That's basically it. Because with Agility 6, the Prehensile Tail is meaningless. It won't change anything for us. Okay. He's just going to stand up and not do anything because I don't want to give him any more free blocks if I can avoid it. And we can still get a decent chance here, I think. But... Why? So what I could do is get two assists here, maybe do a block, follow up, then blitz and get the two dice. But I think I'd much rather get the chance to do get, maybe get an injury with radiation. It doesn't really matter anymore. And I shouldn't... I don't really need to force 
uh, the ball away here. It's just not necessary. So why do it? Let's let's play for safety in this case, and safety in this case does mean doing the splits with Hackflum to get uh, Cackle free. And I don't mind following up with Hackflam because of the star player, and we don't really need him. We can't really use him, and just putting him down there, basically, out of harm's reach. It's our last turn anyway, so why bother? I could have put him up here to get an assist, but that still wouldn't have mattered or changed a whole lot. And we're also going to put Panic up there because he might decide to foul us. And, yeah... I'm going to dodge with Mishap. Put him down there. But let's also... Let's not just give him the touchdown. Let's try to make things harder for him. Okay, there's the going for it. One once again, I should say. Let's use our reroll. That's what it's for. Okay. And that means I won't try to dodge disaster. If I still had the reroll, I would have tried. Because then it's still it's a four plus dodge, but with a reroll that makes it a seventy five percent chance, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so a good, pretty three and four odds basically, uh, but without a reroll it's fifty percent, and it could lead to an injury, which I'm not really willing to risk. That is fine, he still needs to dodge though, and we still have Hackflam, who has the Prehensile Tail. And that was a fail. No, he makes it, but he makes it, okay. That loading screen there was a little bit faster. Okay, the game is once again not found, because it's already over. In Blood Bowl Chaos Edition, you could still write during the last touchdown animation, if I'm not mistaken. But we still win, so this is good. We did lose another player. I have to fire Calamity once again. We're just going to replace him, as always. Oh uh, yeah, let's reroll that. Okay. And Chuck got the MVP. Not really... Well, he's just one MVP away from leveling up again. So I won't complain. Okay. Retastrophe got the miss next game, so he's out. Calamity, we do need to fire. And then rehire, basically. Because an armor value 6 lineman is not good. I don't want that. So what head did he have? I thought I saw the right one, but apparently I didn't. Let's just take this one this time. And Calam... Calamity. Like so? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I already forgot how I wrote the name. Yeah, that's smart. Okay, it's fine. I think that's the right uh, or the correct uh, uh, way of, of writing that name. So we don't really have much in reserves once again, unfortunately. It... It's fine, still, I think. So, yeah, that's the end of today's match. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more Blood Bowl, just subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you tune in next time, and have a nice day. Bye.